This is without a doubt the most common question asked on my website currently, and it deals with older homes and stairways that have small steps and tall risers, and for most of us, difficult to walk up and down. And to fix something like this, we usually need to make the steps a little longer and the riser height a little shorter. However, there's a very good chance that your stairway was designed in your house to fit in a tight space and that it is going to be difficult for you to fix this. Because in order to make the steps a little longer, you're going to end up with a longer stairway. And a longer stairway is usually going to create headroom problems. And that would be the distance between this point here and this point here. For example, if I wanted to add two inches to each step in this stairway that has 12 steps, I'm going to make the stairway 24 inches longer. And that could create a headroom problem like you see here and make it difficult for people taller than 5 foot 10 inches to walk up and down the stairway without ducking. And of course, the solution to that will be to increase the width of the stairwell, the distance from the front of the riser on the last step to the other side of the stairwell opening. And if this measurement here is encroaching into a room above where you cannot make that happen, or there is some type of structural framing in the way, plumbing, electrical, heating, anything that's going to create a problem for making this distance longer. However, if that won't work, then you will probably need to move the stairway into this section here, if you can. Because sometimes you're going to end up with the same problem here. You're going to end up with an area that you cannot move the stairway into. Taking us back to the original reason why they designed and built the stairway to fit in the smaller space in the original home. And of course you do have another option and that would be to minimize the width of the stairwell opening to match the minimum distance required for headroom and that's usually going to be six feet eight inches and that measurement will be taken from the corner of the ceiling to the front edge of the step and if for whatever reason this line is located a little bit further back or forward then you're going to need to draw a straight line the measurement can be taken from this area here to this area here if the corner of the ceiling does not line up directly with the front of the stair step and i do have more videos on that at our website in the stairway building code section so you do have a few options if possible. You don't need to move it all the way to the left. You don't need to move it all the way to the right. You might be able to get away with centering it in this area or even moving it over four inches in this direction and then making the stairwell a little bit longer in this direction to make the headroom height work. And for the most part, that sums up this entire video and will provide you, the viewer, with the most common reason why you're not going to be able to make the stairway a little larger. And in some cases, it won't be enough to make the step a little larger. You're going to need to make the riser a little shorter. And to do that, for this particular stairway here, you're going to need to add one more step, creating even a longer stairway. And you can see here where I left the previous floor so that I could provide you with an example of how far it would have to move. You're going to need to make it a little bit longer to fit the stairway in. And of course, get the headroom height that we're going to need to satisfy our local building codes or building department, building and safety department. And hopefully this video provides you with enough information about solving this problem. Because in reality, this problem is all about headroom height and space. Do you have enough room to install a larger stairway and still end up with enough headroom after that stairway has been installed?